Hi guys, welcome back. So this is video number two for the second way you can make yogurt. So the video I made a few days ago, I believe it was the day before yesterday, or yesterday, um, was how to make yogurt with the yogurt starter. Um, this way I'm going to use the yogurt I already made from the starter the other day. So this is actual yogurt, right? It's a little bit thicker. I'm using this to make my yogurt. So like I said, it's two ingredients, it's milk, and an existing yogurt or yogurt starter today we're doing an existing yogurt so here i have my instant pot because we're going to make it in the instant pot with the yogurt setting um, this is a clean liner i scrubbed it really clean sanitized my sponge i cleaned all these items make sure everything was good because what you don't want is bacteria competing with the live and active cultures you want it to just culture your milk and make it into yogurt and that is it Okay, so first thing, we're gonna open the milk. And if you hear that in my background, that's my dog. One of my dogs, he's eating his food right now. Yeah, Bane, Mr. Bane. So I'm just gonna pour the milk in. I always use grass-fed milk. I was told by my naturopath doctor to always do grass-fed, grass-fed beef, grass-fed milk. So I'll always do grass-fed milk. And this is, hold on ultra pasteurized which means it's heated to a certain temperature it's right here it's kind of small it's heated to a certain temperature so it kills the bacteria and whatever germs that's in here so you don't need to scald the milk scalding actually it has a setting on the instant pot um yogurt is here if you hit it twice it'll heat the milk to almost boiling killing whatever bacteria is in here. But because it's ultra pasteurized, you don't need to scald the milk. You don't need to heat it, you don't need to scald it. So, second part, you get your existing yogurt with live and active cultures, and you're just gonna mix it in, that's it. It's same as the other one, mix it together. So, it's a lot thicker if you can see that. I'm gonna mix that baby right in. You want to make sure it's evenly distributed there's a little bit in here so i'm gonna get like a measuring cup and scoop some of this put it inside okay so i'm just scooping the milk back in so i can seal this off and shake it up and get all of it I don't want it to get everywhere, so I'm trying to shake it nicely. Okay, so just pouring that in. Did you get some food, buddy? Bang? Yeah? Okay, so just gonna mix it all up. I don't have a plug on this side of my counter. This is my island, so I'm gonna have to move it over there to get it started. But that is it. That is, that's it. You just hit the yogurt button it's going to populate to um, 0800 which is eight hours and i normally do mine for eight hours which is perfect and it'll go to zero it'll beep go to zero and then it'll start counting up to the eight hours and then your yogurt's done from there you take it what i do is i take the liner out as well as the cover my cover is clean i washed it again i keep the cover on top of the liner and i just put it into the ice box like that and I let it refrigerate to set for at least a few hours. I think I did it about three or four hours this morning for the other batch I made. Um, leave it in there. And then if you like the consistency, cool, that's your yogurt. You can add your sweetener, you can add your um, berries, you can add your fruit, you can add whatever you want to that um, yogurt at that point. Or if you don't like the consistency and you want it to be thicker, then you can strain it and you can make it into Greek yogurt, which is what I did with my last batch. So I will link that video on how to strain it um, right up here or either side. And you can see how to strain it and make it into Greek yogurt if you don't like the consistency. Um, I think that is about it. It's really simple, you guys. It's so easy to make yogurt in the Instant Pot. It's 
you push a button and it does all the work you set it and forget it so i hope you like this video i hope it was informational if you have comments or questions don't forget to leave it down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more because i plan to do a lot more uh cooking videos recipe videos and just pretty much what we do every day and i make this once a week so i really love this yogurt you guys are gonna love it anyway leave a comment below if you got questions let me know all right bye guys